Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today's video is going to be a Q&A and get ready with me. You guys seem to really like my chit chat videos like while I'm getting ready and all that. So I figured I'd film one of these. I'm actually also going to be trying out Yes Style Makeup. They sent me a ton of products that I can't wait to share with you guys. They're really affordable and they're all so cute. So instead of just getting ready, I figured I'd also answer some questions because these are some of my favorite videos to film and I just feel like you guys can get to know me better. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. All the products I use will be linked down below in case any of you guys want to check them out and let's just get right on into it. So I actually guys over on Instagram if you had any questions for me that I can answer and I got a lot so I screenshotted them and we're gonna go through them right now so I'm not gonna be really doing like a crazy makeup look I'm not going anywhere today so I'm gonna do really minimal makeup but still make myself look put together so I really need to fix these under eye circles I'm so tired I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately and I'm just like really overwhelmed lately school is starting next week and you know getting like the Sunday scaries on an everyday basis right now so I need to cover up these dark circles but I'm just going to be using my NARS soft matte concealer and this elf concealer brush and I'm just going to cover up my under eye circles and anywhere else that I need coverage but I'm going to just start answering questions so the first question I got is how are you doing I feel like someone asked me that on my last Q&A video but I guess I'm okay <laughs> I've been better but I'm just feeling really overwhelmed with the school starting again I'm actually taking six classes this semester last semester i took five i was actually supposed to take six last semester but i dropped a class because it was just way too much for me to handle even though i had done it in the past before that but last semester was just like really stressful and this semester i'm taking six classes again so i'm taking three marketing courses economics philosophy and stat two i took stat one last semester so this semester will be my last semester of math ever i'm so happy because i can't stand math but i'm also going to be studying for the lsat while i'm taking six courses which is definitely going to be a lot but i already studied previously for that so i'm not feeling too nervous about it but other than that i think i'm okay i mean i'm just trying to keep up with life in general, my YouTube videos, my Instagram account, it's a lot, but there are bigger problems in the world. But yeah, I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> I know this is super random, but I was really bored the other night and I decided to self tan. I've never done that in my life. And now I feel like I can never be pale again. I mean, like I really wasn't that pale before, but just seeing myself with a tan again is so weird because this past summer, I obviously didn't really leave my house, so I was really pale and I just haven't seen myself tan in a really long time You probably can't even tell on camera because of like the bright ring light, but I'm not used to it But I absolutely love how I look tan. It's so much better And I feel like my makeup just looks way nicer when I'm tan. I don't know. Maybe that's just me That is seriously the only concealer I'm applying and I'm gonna set it with my makeup forever Foundation powder. I really don't want to wear a lot of makeup because I'm not going anywhere and no one is seeing me and I'm just gonna use this for like a little bit of extra coverage. Next question is if you can only use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? And I would have to say that it would have to be e.l.f. Cosmetics. I absolutely love e.l.f. I use at least one of their products in every single one of my makeup videos. They're just so affordable and the formulas are amazing. Some of their products are better than high-end makeup and that's why I love e.l.f. so much. They were probably one of the first makeup brands that I had ever bought makeup from when I was like in middle school. So I love them and they are my favorite brand ever. I feel like they deserve so much more hype than what they actually get because I feel like a lot of people still don't really use their products but they are so good so don't sleep on elf especially their brushes and their makeup sponges amazing so i'm looking really flat right now since my face is all one color so i'm going to go in with bronzer so i'm going to be using the yes style too cool art class by robin bronzer i really like this one because you guys can see it has like the three different colors in it and i'm just going to mix them all together because i feel like that will look really good on my skin tone and i'm going to be using my nazanin kamari times bh cosmetics number one powder brush her brushes are absolutely amazing. I remember when she came out with them initially, like in the summertime, I was like, I'm not going to get them because I have so many makeup brushes I don't need anymore. But this is the last restock for them and everyone was saying how good they were. And I was like, fine, I guess I got them and I don't regret it at all. They are so good. I think there's still some available right now. So if you guys want cheap brushes that are really good quality, I would suggest buying these. They're so soft and they're just so good for the price and I love them. I've been using them every single day since I got them. So I'm just mixing all the colors together and bronzing up my cheeks this is actually really nice i feel like this color is really universal and it actually blends really nicely someone asked do you see yourself getting married or having kids and yes i really want to i'm only 20 i just turned 20 so i still have a really long time until that time comes in my life but yes i do want to get married and i do want to have kids 
maybe just like one or two. I have a sister and I feel like I would be so lonely if I didn't have her. So I would probably have two kids. So my child isn't an only child, but yes, I do want to have kids and get married. Probably that won't happen for like another six or seven years. I don't know. Let's see where life takes me. I still have a really long time to be thinking about that. I'm also just going to put some on my neck so it matches because I feel like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like I got super tan from the self tanner that I use. It was the Loving Tan brand. I'll link it down below if I can find it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can, but it was the two hour bronze express and it worked so well. I love how it came out. I feel like it looks really natural too. So I really like it. I'm also gonna put some of the bronzer down my nose so it doesn't look so flat against my face. I really need to get better at nose contour. I feel like I still can't contour for my life. Next question is what is your ultimate dream job? So you guys know if you watch my videos that I really want to go to law school and do real estate law or maybe big law. I'm not really sure yet but if I wasn't in college going for that my dream job since I was like six years old was to become a singer but obviously that's not that realistic so I don't see that happening anymore but that was my ultimate dream job like I just wanted to be a singer I have so many memories of just like me singing in the living room for my family they bought me like my first karaoke machine when i was like five years old and i was obsessed with it there's so many home videos of me just singing in the living room like at the top of my lungs i just loved singing when i was younger and that was what i went to high school for someone also actually asked me what high school did you go to so i went to frank sinatra school of the arts in astoria queens and i went for vocal music so i've been singing my entire life it's just now that I'm in college now, I don't really do it as often. And I feel like as I've gotten older, my confidence in my singing voice has gone down quite a lot. I was way more confident when I was younger. I don't know what happened to me. Like I would post singing covers all the time on Instagram. I would post stories of me singing just for no reason at all. And I'm not like that now. Like if someone asked me to sing, I'm like, oh my God, no, please stop. I just get so embarrassed. I don't know what it is. That was actually one of my goals for the new year to become more confident in my singing and musical talents again, because I kind of just stopped after I graduated high school, which is really sad because sometimes I feel like good talent shouldn't be put to waste and not saying that i'm amazing or anything like that because i really am not but and see i'm downplaying myself i always do that but i just want to get back into it again because music is seriously something that takes up a lot of my heart i have a huge passion for singing and music and i don't know sometimes i just get really insecure about it so i'm trying to work on that for the new year i don't even remember what the question was that i was answering but it was what is your ultimate dream job and yes it would be to be a singer all right so i'm going to finish on my base first before i go in with the eyes but I'm so obsessed with this product that they sent me. So it's this multi cube. It is so cute and it's perfect for traveling. And it has your little eyeshadows on the first layer and then it has a blush on the second. And it is so good for traveling because you seriously just need to take this with you and that's it. And I feel like the colors are really pretty for just a simple everyday makeup look. So I'm gonna go in with the neutral tones because like I said, I'm staying home and no one is gonna see me. So I'm just gonna do a really simple eye look. So I'm gonna pick up this first shade right here, which is labeled as number one. And on this fluffy brush, this is a Nazanin Kavari six brush. I'm just gonna put it through my crease. The next question is, what is your go-to Starbucks order? So I absolutely love Starbucks. Starbucks is my thing. When I was in high school, there was a Starbucks right across the street. And that is where my coffee addiction developed. And there was also Dunkin' right around the corner. So I would get coffee every single morning. So I have so many orders that I like switch off from. So my OG would have to be an iced wet chocolate mocha and no whipped cream. And sometimes when I get it hot, instead of using regular milk, I use half and half and it just makes it so creamy and it tastes so good. But when I'm not feeling coffee, I get the medicine ball tea. My cousin actually recommended that to me like a couple years ago. And ever since she told me about that, I cannot stop getting it. It is so good. It's called the medicine ball tea because a lot of people like to get it when they're sick. And I've done it and I feel like it made such a difference in a sore throat. I love it. It's peach tea mixed with mint tea. And then it also has steamed lemonade and then they add some honey and it is so good. It's seriously one of the best drinks I think Starbucks has and I feel like a lot of people don't know about it because it's not labeled on the menu as a medicine ball tea but so many baristas like just know it by name that that's what like people order it as now. I believe it's like the citrus honey mint tea on the app or something like that but go to Starbucks and get the medicine ball tea they'll know what you're talking about but that one is just so good. And then another drink that I always get is the Irish cream cold brew when it's in season. I don't think it's in season anymore but that one's really good. 
And then the Starbucks drink that everyone was going crazy over on TikTok. I think it's a venti ice white chocolate mocha with a vanilla sweet cold foam and then extra caramel drizzle. That one is so good. I got it for my birthday and that was the first and last time I ever got it because it is super sweet. So it's definitely one of those drinks that is like more of a treat and it's probably really expensive. I mean, I got it for free on my birthday, but I'm assuming it's probably like more than $7 because it is a venti and you get so many add-ons, but it is so good. I love it so much. But if you're more of like a strong coffee drinker, then you probably wouldn't like it because it is really sweet. And then I'm also just blending that same Number one shade on my lower lash line. It's really pretty, it's like a mauve pink color. I'm like doing my makeup and I feel like I said before that I was gonna just do my base first and then I just started moving on to the eyes. So I'm sorry if I confused you guys, I feel like I did say that. But anyways, I'm just gonna finish my eyes really quickly so I can do the rest of my face. But the next question I got was, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Which is just so funny to me because I was actually talking about this with my best friends in middle school like two weeks ago and I was, 13 when I had my first kiss yeah like 13 in eighth grade and so cringy thinking about it now it's just like I don't even know why that happened honestly but yeah I was 13 when I had my first kiss now I'm just going in with this brown shade right here it's in number three and I'm gonna do like a faux shadow wings liner you guys know I love doing this it's like my new favorite thing oh my god it's actually really pigmented so I'm just gonna drag this on my lash line. So someone also asked me, where are you from? So if you guys watch my videos, you guys know I'm from New York, but I'm assuming they need like my background and my heritage. So I'm a Puerto Rican and both of my parents are Puerto Rican. My mom has some Italian in her, but it's just easier to tell people that I'm full Puerto Rican because I don't like going down through like the entire like family tree. Like I'm just like, whatever, I'm Puerto Rican. But yeah, I'm Puerto Rican. My dad is from the island of Vieques in Puerto Rico. So it's like a little island off of the mainland. It's really small. It only has like a population of like 10,000 people or something like that. And then I don't even know where my mom's family is from, but I just tell people that I'm from Vieques, Puerto Rico. Now I'm just gonna take the Nazanin Kavari 8 brush. And I'm also just gonna go in a little bit with a dark shade and just like blend it out on my lash line. So it has like that more smudged effect because i'm going to go in with a lot of mascara and i feel like these kinds of looks can be really messy and still look pretty so i'm just going to smudge it out a little bit more before i go in with the shimmer shade on my lid i feel like sometimes these kinds of looks are so hard for me to do because i have hooded eyelids and the faux liner like just blends into like the crease in my eye but the next question is, would you recommend your college for a biology major? So if you guys watch my college videos, I go to St. John's University in New York City. I absolutely love my school. If you guys don't know this, I was actually a biology major before I transferred to business because I thought I was going to go to dental school and then I had like a midlife crisis and now I'm going to law school. It's just a really long story. But yes, I was a bio major for a year and I believe that my university is like in the top 10% of science schools in the United States. So I think they have a really good program. My school also has a PA school and a lot of kids from my university end up getting into med school, dental school, veterinary school. So I think they have a really good science program. And I loved all the teachers that I had in my science classes while I was there. I think they have a really good biology program, but definitely look into it first. Obviously, there's so many amazing schools for science. If you guys would like to see a video all about my school, I would definitely do that. Just let me know. Leave it down in the comments because I know some people right now are probably getting accepted into school and are probably like weighing out their options. So I feel like it could be helpful for some people that want to go to my school. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. So now I'm just going to take this shimmer shade right here, the number two one, and I'm going to be using a number seven brush from the Nazanin set. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid so I have like a pretty shimmer there that is so pretty I really like the subtle shimmers to finish up the eyes I'm just gonna go in with some mascara I'm gonna be using their long and curl mascara this is actually a super waterproof formula I love waterproof mascara it's the only kind of mascara I use if you guys have trouble keeping your eyelashes curled throughout the day I would definitely recommend using waterproof it makes such a difference and I love this wand because it has that curve and I feel like this really helps to curl lashes so I'm just gonna apply this on my eyelashes and I can already tell that I like this formula because I'm the kind of person that really likes mascaras once they dry out a little bit I don't really like a super wet mascara because I feel like it makes my eyelashes look way clumpier than what they usually would and I like this one because it kind of has a drier formula I just realized that I forgot to curl my eyelashes but that's okay I just got mascara all over my eyelid so I just waited for it to dry and I went in like with one of these little q-tips and it just flicks it right off but while I did that I took off some color so I'm gonna go back in with that 
pink mauve shade that I put in my crease and put some more. So I'm just going to use this brown shade again and just drag it along my lower lash line to give some kind of dimension there because I feel like it's missing something. As I finish my eyes, I'm going to move on to finishing the rest of my face like I said I was before. But I'm just going to use this blush that's in the eyeshadow palette and apply the slightest amount because this is super bright and I feel like it's going to be really pigmented. And I'm going to be using the number three brush. Next question is, what is your dream travel location? I have so many on my list. Like, you guys have no idea. I actually wanted to study abroad this year, but then obviously everything happened and that's not possible so i actually have a six month gap between the time that i graduate and then from when i start law school because i'm graduating a semester early so i'm really hoping that during that time i'm gonna have a chance to travel and go to europe because anywhere in europe is seriously my dream travel location i've wanted to go to italy my entire life i really want to go to ireland i really want to go to spain and then besides europe i would have to say that my dream travel location is definitely puerto rico I mean, I've been there before, it's where I'm from, so it's absolutely beautiful. Like, the food there is amazing. I just feel like that is the best place to travel. Now for highlight, I'm going with this Luminous Multi Highlighter. Oh my god, when I saw this in the package they sent me, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen a highlight like this since I think like freshman year of high school. I used to have one, I think it was from Stila that I used to use like every single day. It was my favorite highlighter ever. And I'm just using a number five brush from BH Cosmetics. So I just literally swirl all the shades together and apply them on my cheekbones. I used to be so obsessed with like a frosty white highlight. And then as I've gotten older, I just use more gold ones, but I'm so excited to use this. It's been so long. It is so pretty. You can like already see it and it smells so good. Someone also asked me what goals do you have for your channel in 2021? So I really have a huge goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. Right now, I have been stuck at the same amount that I have for about three weeks and I have no idea why. It kind of gets like a little bit discouraging because I feel like I put a lot of effort into my videos and like providing content that I think is valuable because I never want to be posting something that I feel like no one is going to take away something from. So I feel like all my videos kind of have some lesson to them, whether it be like a makeup video or me giving college advice and things like that. So sometimes I get sad when I see that I'm not growing, but it's okay because I'm on my own path. I'm not gonna grow as fast as other people. And I'm just waiting one day for one of my videos to pick up just to see if I get some kind of momentum, but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I enjoy filming videos, even if I have two subscribers or whatever it may be. But I'm really thankful for the ones that I have because you guys seem to really like my videos and you always leave me the sweetest comments so i will continue making videos but that is definitely one of my goals to hit thousand subscribers and possibly get monetized i have no idea because i need 4,000 watch hours for that and let me tell you i'm only a quarter of the way there but it's okay because i will get there eventually <laughs> now just to darken up my eyes a little bit i'm going to be using a brown eyeliner i'm going to apply it in my waterline i actually used this one already and i love it it's really creamy so this is the Slim Waterproof Fixie Eyeliner. Oops, I dropped it. So like I said, this is the Fixie Slim Waterproof Liner and it's just in the brown shade. It's just a really pretty deep brown. I'm gonna apply this in my waterline just to add a little more dimension to my eyes. I have so many questions and I wanna make sure that I get through all of them. So the next one is favorite Holy Grail makeup product. Oh my gosh, I have no idea, but I would probably have to say the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. You guys know that is my favorite mascara. Until I discovered the Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara, that one is seriously out of this world. If you need a good mascara, definitely pick up that one because no other mascara has made my eyelashes look like falsies besides that one. It is so amazing. Next question is, how do you balance school and YouTube? So when the semester was going on, I think I was posting twice a week and that worked out pretty well for me. I just made a schedule for myself. You guys know I'm the queen of to-do lists and planners. I'm just such an organized person. If I'm not organized and I'm not getting everything done, I seriously freak out and I have like these panic attacks because when I write a to-do list, I need to make sure that everything on it is 
finished and if it's not i like get so down on myself it's actually really bad sometimes that i'm like that but i can't help it but the way i keep up with youtube in school is just a planner seriously i write down everything and i time block throughout the day so it makes it easier for when i know i'm gonna like film a video or if i have homework that i need to do so i feel like that really helps me but like i said last semester i was uploading twice a week and i'm kind of scared that i'm not going to be able to do that this semester because like i said i'm taking six classes and then on top of that i'm going to be taking the lsat and applying to law school so let's see i'm gonna hope that i can still do that but if anything i'll definitely still post once a week but let's see when the time comes i have one more week until school starts i'm really excited because i feel like school just puts me in like a routine and right now i kind of feel like i'm all over the place so in a way i'm excited for school to start but i'm also really overwhelmed and nervous about it but i don't know let's see how the semester goes but i would definitely suggest writing to-do list and just planning everything it makes everything so much easier We're almost done all i have left is lips so i'm going to be using this glassing water tint it is so pretty it's like a pretty popsicle kind of look on your lips you guys know what i'm talking about like once you eat a popsicle and you kind of like leave that stain this is exactly what that does so I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my lips and then blend out with my finger. It looks so pretty. So it kind of gives like that bitten look. I feel like on camera it looks way more red than what it actually is. It's actually like a really light pinky rosy color, but it is so pretty and that product smells really good also. It kind of has like a florally scent. So that is it for the makeup look. Like I said, it was gonna be super simple because I'm not going anywhere. So no one needs to see me with a full face of makeup on, but I still have some questions that I wanna answer before I end up the video. So let's just do that really quickly. So my friend Casey from high school, she asked me, what are your future plans? So definitely law school, you guys know that. That is the ultimate goal that I have for myself. I really wanna get my real estate license because I just love real estate. That is like totally something that I can see myself doing. I'm obsessed with selling sunsets on Netflix, but I've been obsessed with real estate like way before that show came out, but that is definitely something that's on my list of goals that I want to achieve. I know that law school is really, really brutal, so I feel like just getting through that in itself is an accomplishment. I watch so many law vloggers on YouTube, and I'm hoping to become one like once I get into law school. I feel like that'll be really fun just to like document my law school journey. And also, my boyfriend's sister is currently in law school, and I can tell that it is brutal. Like She definitely goes through it, but I feel like it's super worth it in the end because you have a career that you love. So that is definitely one of my future plans. I really want to own a house one day. I want to live in Manhattan for at least a year in my lifetime. I live in Queens, so I am from New York City, but I really want to live in Manhattan for at least a year just to have like the whole Manhattan experience. I've always been in love with Manhattan since I could remember, since literally like, being like five years old at Radio City for the first time, seeing like the Rockettes and just being amazed by everything. I love Manhattan. When I'm up there, it makes me really sad. And on TikTok, I see so many people doing New York City days and lives and they all live in Manhattan. I'm just like, I'm so jealous because I miss the city so much. Before everything happened, I was always there and I haven't been to the city in God knows how long. So I really miss it, but that's definitely another future goal that I have for mine. Really want to live in Manhattan before I get married one day. And then, I don't know, I just want to be really comfortable in my life, which is something that I really, really want. I just want to have a comfortable life and not have to worry about paying bills i mean like that is always a worry but you guys know what i mean i just want to live comfortably <laughs> another question that someone asked me is for eyeshadow should i be applying a primer on my lids so i feel like that is totally like your personal preference i used to only use concealer as like priming my eyelids and that would be fine for me but i do now use the p louise eyeshadow base and i feel like that just makes your eyeshadows pop way more than concealer but if you're not doing like a crazy eye look with like really pigmented like bright neon colors or whatever i would just use concealer you don't necessarily need Need to go out and buy an eyeshadow primer i feel like concealer just works just as well but i guess it's just up to you and then the last question isn't really a question but i still want to answer it and ask you guys if you like to see this from me but someone that actually lives in california that follows me i met her through instagram she asked me if i would ever do like a new york city travel guy i would definitely do that if you guys want to see that i would like do a video with like all my favorite restaurants best places to visit that aren't like that touristy like best hotels i feel like that would be a really good thing for me to do i love planning like itineraries and all that that is seriously something that i really enjoy doing i remember in high school that was one of my projects and i had to plan like a whole itinerary to go to italy for a vacation and i had so much fun doing it so if you guys want to see like a new york city guide i would totally do that and i feel like that would be so much fun definitely let me know in the comments but i'm just gonna end the video right here because i feel like this video is super long already i really hope you guys enjoyed i will link every single product that i use down below in case you guys want to buy anything definitely subscribe because now that school is starting again i'm going to 
be posting so many college vlogs, studying for the LSAT, all that stuff. You guys seem to really enjoy my college videos, so I'm really excited to get back into them. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one.